I'm 13 News Now meteorologist Evan Stewart had a lot of fog around this morning. School delays that fog is burnt off in most spots, although we still have a little bit of fog and some low cloudiness in inland areas. But where we have seen the sunshine break through those clouds, temperatures well up into the 70s. And we're looking at another warm one tomorrow before this front out towards the west finally works its way in, dropping temperatures a bit for Thursday and into Friday. But as we go through the evening, we are looking at the partly sunny skies. Temperatures again in the 70s in many spots, although I do think later tonight we'll see the clouds start to fill back in and we'll see more fog developing. And once again, it could be dense in a few spots as we start things off tomorrow morning with mild temperatures in the upper 50s to around 60 degrees. Southerly winds once again pushing those temperatures back up into the 70s, but it might be several hours again after sunrise before the fog starts to burn off into the afternoon. We're looking at partly sunny skies. Temperatures back up into the mid 70s and some spots getting close to 80 degrees. Then we'll look for a front to approach as we go through the day on Thursday, and that could cause those temperatures to drop during the afternoon. But for tonight, fog redeveloping, breezy, mild, a low of 58 degrees, and tomorrow up to 76. Fog in the morning and partly sunny by the afternoon, breezy and warm. Southwesterly winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Looking ahead towards Thursday, calling for some fog and mist around in the morning, and then a cold front will slide through. Exact timing is still a little bit in question, but we do expect falling temperatures as we go into Friday into Thursday afternoon, giving us a chance of an afternoon shower and then much cooler on Friday 57. But then we're back into the 70s this weekend.